since the beginning of Islam, Muslims and Christians have worked together to be successful. When we go outside of our ummah, of our community as Muslims, there are other people, Christian people and Jewish people, who, for example, believe in the Bible which came from Prophet Isa salam, or the Torah that came from Prophet Musa salam. And we believe in different things. There's a lot of things that Muslims do that Christians don't do. We pray five times a day, they don't. There's a lot of things that Christians do that we as Muslims don't do. They celebrate different holidays. There are many differences that we have. But one thing that we share that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran is that we share the same God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Lord, is the same Lord as theirs. During the early years of Islam, the pagans, the Quraysh in Mecca, were terrible to the Muslims. So much so that our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, told many of the Muslims to leave Mecca and perform something called a hijra, where they went to another place called Abyssinia, which is currently in Ethiopia. In Abyssinia, there was a Christian king, someone who followed the Injil from Prophet Isa or Jesus, named Najashi. And Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, sent his friends and his family there and he said, if you go there, you'll be protected. Well, it was tested. After the Muslims got to Ethiopia, the Quraysh, the evildoers who wanted to end Islam, they came to Abyssinia after the Muslims. And they came to the king Najashi and they said, Najashi, give us these Muslims. Allow us to take them as prisoners because these Muslims are bad. That's what they were saying. Now, Najashi was a Christian king. So he invited the Muslims, specifically a man named Jafar, the son of Abu Talib. May Allah be pleased with Jafar. And Najashi asked Jafar, what do you believe? And Najashi began to quote verses from the Qur'an. He talked about how Allah is one. He talked about how there is a hereafter. He talked about how we as Muslims believe in Prophet Isa or Jesus. And how we believe in his mom, Maryam, may Allah be pleased with her, and how she's such a noble woman. After Najashi, the Christian king, heard this, he said that Muslims will always be in my kingdom and I will keep you safe. And Najashi kept the Muslims safe and made sure that those evildoers wouldn't hurt him. Since the beginning of Islam, the believers in God came together for good. And it's something that we should remember as well.